So there I am, just minding my own business, and here comes King Gilgamesh, tearing through the streets like a wild bull on a rampage, yelling about a wedding or something. A few hours later, it turns out he went and attacked some poor girl before her wedding, and I decided, that's it. Gilgamesh is a public nuisance at best, and a menace at worst. He crippled my friend in a so-called wrestling match just last week. So, I rallied some of the guys, and tonight we're petitioning the gods to do something about him. I really don't care what, just as long as he stops harassing us, we will be happy. He's just bored. He can't help that I made him more superior to the other mortals. He just needs a friend. Hmm. That gives me an idea. I missed pottery. I really should do this more often. I had this really weird dream last night where I couldn't lift my pencil, which is weird because I'm like super strong. I just wanted to go hunting. There I am doing my thing, setting some traps, and here comes this big foot man tearing them up and yelling things. And man, when I tell you, I hightailed it out of there so quickly. And now my dad is telling me that I have to go talk to Gilgamesh. It's been a day. Oh, I get it now. I know just what to do. He wants me to do what? Men. I am a new man. I shall no longer run with the animals. I shall join civilization and do as I please. Well, obviously I had to tell him that that was wrong. Gilgamesh does what he wants and the rest of us just do our best to stay under his radar. He didn't take it well. Now he's off convinced that he can defeat Gilgamesh and end his tyranny of the people. Who does this guy think he is? I bet I'm stronger than he is. I'll kick his butt and maybe then he'll leave the people alone and let me do as I please. Wow! Ah! Take that! Yeah. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Ah! It was a tie. Turns out he's pretty cool. Kind of hot-headed. I can help him with that. I've only had Enkidu for one day, but if anything were to happen to him, I would kill everyone in this room, not myself. Okay, so hear me out here. There's this really obnoxious forest in Lebanon that's guarded by this big, scary monster, right? And there's nothing particularly special about this forest except for the fact that it's guarded by this monster and the trees are made of, get this, cedar, which makes really nice statues and flooring. So like, I figure Enkidu and I go and kill this Umbaba beast, build a nice little statue for the gods, and then lay some really epic flooring. I have a bad feeling about this. Took some butt kissing, a lot of smoozing, but I finally got the elders to agree to let us go. All I had to do was promise everything would be okay, and that the temples to the gods would be the first thing refurbished with the new Cedar wood. Like a really bad feeling. I've seen Humbaba before. Well, not really seen, but sensed. And he is nothing to mess with unless you absolutely must. I don't think new floors are a must though. It isn't enough that I give those mortals light and you know, life and all that. But no, Nissan wants me to help those two nutcases slay Humbaba, which I already know will not go over well with Enel. But who am I to question these things? I'm just the guy that who sees and knows everything. We even got the blessing and aid of the great Shamash. And Kidu almost whisked out on me, but I gave him a pep talk and now we're ready to go. Okay, so we're doing this. I'm gonna take a nap. The hiking's been brutal, but we've been making good time. Last night, I had a nightmare. And I was afraid it was a, vi a vision, but Inkidu assured me that it was actually a good sign. It's got to be a good sign, right? It's a good sign. I know it is. The nightmares are getting worse. Inkidu is sure that they're just mixed signals and good signs. I don't know. Oh, 
that was a close one. Got a little afraid for a minute there that Gilgamesh was actually gonna let Humbaba live, but it worked out. We made out in one piece. He rejected me? Nobody rejects me! Listen, I don't really know what went down or who did what and why, but when Ishtar gets angry, she can be really scary. Plus, like, nobody talks to my daughter that way and gets away with it. So, yeah, we'll send her the bowl. Gilgamesh! Some people really don't know how to handle rejection. Luckily, we were able to handle it. I cannot believe she actually sent the bowl of heaven after us. Like, who does that? Oh, this is war. Perhaps mistakes were made. One of them has to go. I don't care which one, but one must go. You cannot just go around killing the creatures of the gods and get away with it. So, one of them must die. This is all Shamash's fault. Had he not given them his blessing to kill the stupid forest guardian in the first place, one of them would have died then anyways, and we wouldn't be here. <sighs> well, I don't want to pick one of them. So there we are, just sitting there in silence. Anlil and Shamash are glaring at one another across the table, and no decisions are being made. So I made the executive call and decided that Enkidu should be the one to die. I kind of figured that it would piss off Ninsun slightly less than killing Gilgamesh would. They picked Enkidu. Enkidu is innocent. Why should he die? He did nothing wrong. Oh my gods, is that Shamash yelling in there? What is that guy's deal? They're just mortals. Mortals who have somehow found the audacity to kill both Humbaba and the Bull of Heaven. <laughs> Poor Enkidu! <sighs> I had a very bad dream last night. I would like to think it was just a dream. <laughs> do 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 not just <laughs> as a dream. Enkidu is unwell, but I'm I'm sure he'll work over it. He always does. I shall ask Shamash to make him better quickly. <laughs> the gods are not pleased with me. If only I had not met Shamash. I could still be running with the animals today. <laughs> Enkidu is fine. He's, he's fine. Everything. He's, everything's fine. So Enkidu dies, right? And I feel for Gilgamesh. I really do. I mean. His best friend just died. But seriously, a statue, the offerings, and now he's what? On sabbatical? Where'd he go? I must outrun death. There has to be a way. I will not end up like Inkidu, who I miss so much. I need, I need a minute. As I was saying, I'm running away from death. There's gotta be a way to. That one guy at the edge of the world managed to. Surely I can as well. I'm part god after all. I bet an exception can be made for me. Today after work, I picked up the stranger's hitchhiker. He was looking a little worse wear, so I decided to help him out and take him where he wanted, which is apparently to see the weirdo that lives on the outskirts of town. So I tried talking him out of it, but then he got kind of violent. So here we are, I suppose. Gilgamesh is still gone and the elders are starting to get a little bit worried. I'm sure he's fine though. I was so close. I don't know what to do. I don't want to die. I don't want to end up like a kiddo. He was so sad even before he passed for who wants to die. But I guess everyone does. Good job. Gilgamesh returned today. He brought back this weird boatman looking for work. 
Gilgamesh is different. He's calmer now, more quiet and more down to earth than he's ever been before. It's good to be home, to see the great walls of Uruk once more. You know, those walls were forged by the seven sages. I missed the walls and the people. Tomorrow should be a good day.